Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be swatching the Behind the Screen palette by Killer Queens Cosmetics. If you didn't know, I have a discount code with them. You can use the code TASHA16 to save some money on your order. I do make a small commission, so you save money, I get some money. I think it's a perfect little thing, you know? But if you'd like to see swatches of this gorgeous palette, just keep watching. <laughs> Okay, so now you guys have seen swatches of the palette, let's talk about it. First off, it comes with two mirrors on the side, which is kind of cool, honestly. Uh, the only other palette I've seen do that is the Nikki Tutorials palette. So I think this is definitely like a unique sort of way to go about it. The palette is long, um, like my hand is relatively small, so uh, my hand compared to the palette it's a longer palette it's not like super thick or anything so that's great the colors in this palette are really cute i definitely like the like bright vibes and then you have like the like greens and i just really really like the vibes of this palette i do want to say that the shade conceited did come broken it was really heartbreaking because i've never had to repress a matte shadow before so i was really worried but so far, it's staying. It's staying pretty good. So whatever, like, consistency the pa the eyeshadow is, it pressed down actually pretty nicely. I did lose, like, a good majority of the eyeshadow, but they, um, the brand did, like, refund me. I bought this palette with my own money. I have a discount code, but I'm just an affiliate. I did not get this sent to me. I bought this palette with my own money. Um, so they gave me $30 off my next order, which I think is definitely a, um, like, a good way to, you know, apologize for, you know, the item coming broken. It was just one eyeshadow, and Canada Post was being screwy with how, like, because I did pay insurance for it, but Canada Post and USPS did not want to cooperate, so the brand ended up helping me, which was definitely very, very grateful for that. I think you definitely get some really, really beautiful shades. Honestly, I got this palette on a whim. I was like, you know what? Like, this is like one of their first eyeshadow palettes. Let's go for it. I wanted to try their quality because honestly I love every other product I've tried from the brand um mostly I've just tried their paint pods but um I love those so I really wanted to you know support one of my favorite indie bands and you know try out the eyeshadows and I love them honestly the formula is really good I have tried out their Ouija palette which I will link my swatch video and review down below because I love that palette very much and the eyeshadow formula is definitely like at least I believe close to the same it's all of these swatched beautifully and we all know that swatches do not dictate how these will apply on the eyes but I did try the Ouija palette on my eyes and I loved how those applied so I can only imagine how much I'm gonna love this one in all honesty this is not my favorite color story like I love the like neon shades but then like the other shades just don't really like they're not my type of thing like altogether. I really, really love the, like, neons, though, so, like, the green, the yellow, the pink, and the magenta, those are my favorite in this palette, for sure. Obviously, this palette does have a really beautiful meaning to it, um, because it's behind the screen, so you have, you know, Instagram liked photo, and then you have, like, you know, people bullying and stuff, and I definitely think that, you know, in the makeup community, people can be horrible. Um, luckily, I personally haven't dealt with a ton of 
bullying which is funny because when I was in elementary school I got bullied a ton but when it comes to makeup I have not been I mean I have been there's been times where there are people who are just rude but it just makes me laugh half the time but I definitely love the meaning behind this palette and all the names of the eyeshadows also go with the theme of the palette which I really love out of all the shades my favorite are definitely the brights obviously um but everything swatched beautifully the like pale shade up there obviously you can't see it well because it blends into my skin very well but the rest are all super super pigmented i love how you get mostly all mattes i love like i love having like a sparkly inner corner highlight and then like the rest being mattes basically that's just how i roll with palettes so this palette is definitely a win in my opinion honestly i really love this palette it's so pretty um, like, it's not overall my color scheme, like, I'm sure that I have the neon shades in other palettes, but those shades just speak to me, like, I can definitely see myself doing looks with those shades the most, but even, like, the blues and stuff still look very, very pretty. Let me know down below which shade is your favorite from this palette. For me, I honestly think it's self-care, but reality and expectations are also very, very close, so let me know which one is your favorite um if you do place an order i would honestly be so thankful if you did use my code tasha16 but again i do make a small commission so if you're not comfortable with that then don't use the code as simple as that thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed subscribe comment down below any videos you like to see me do go follow my instagram makeup by tasha xo i post there daily and i will see you in the next video bye i'll get you oh yeah i'll get you Oh. <laughs> oh, you get him. Oh, you get him. Oh, good tail. Oh, get him. Good tail. Uh, well. oh, his tail's fucking whipping back and forth. Oh. Chloe, Chloe, now is not the good time to come in. One knock. Oh no. She's like, stop. Oh. 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 Attitude. You get him. Bite his bum. Give him a smack, Effie. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, you're bad. Oh, you're bad. 